local homeless shelter may find itself turning down operating money. At issue is a proposal to divvy up Hamilton County's hospital levy. And as 9 News reporter Scott Wegener tells us, not all the possible recipients think that is a good idea. When I first came here, I was a very sick individual. Leroy Bishop found the Cincinnati Health Network when he needed it the most. I was having a stroke at the time and didn't know it. Bishop was homeless, addicted to crack, and out of options. If I would have been here, I'd probably be dead by now. The network's clinic in an alley off McMicken Street provides free primary medical care for the indigent. The network also operates this truck that brings the doctors to area shelters. We see diabetes, we see high blood pressure, we see heart disease. For specialty care, they refer their patients to University Hospital. A lot of that care is paid for by a levy. It's a hospital levy uh, for University Hospital and Children's Hospital and for indigent care. That's what it says. Now that may be changing. Continuum of Care, an umbrella organization of several area shelters, is asking for $2 million of the pie. To ensure that single men and women have safe, appropriate shelter facilities. But at least one of the shelters they represent is not happy with the proposal. City Council Mission might opt to um, decline the funds. Jason Williams says the levy money belongs with the hospitals. Why would we need medical care funding when we don't do medical care? UC College of Nursing does come to the mission to run an on-site clinic. Williams says that's already paid for by levy dollars, and to take some of that away to give to the mission itself is wrong. We want the, the funding to be used in an honest uh, way, the way that it's designated for. Scott Wegener, 9 News. Cincinnati police have arrested an